Uh, yeah, we're, we're adding on to the bingo card here. Questionable ultimate? Hey, you know what? Why not? Questionable ultimate in which the team uses their ult in a questionable way in comparison to using ult in the correct way. All right, how's this one? Is this one good? <laughs> I, ha I had to do that because Cuber said last time each, each week, each week it keeps turning into a paragraph. Do we keep that? So we are on a spectating bronze bingo. All right. This, this bronze bingo is a bronze Moira on console. Now, this game is an interesting one. I, 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 we're going to, we're in for a treat. Keep in mind, this is a 24 minute, this is a 24 minute King's Row Bronze Moira game. All right. So, I'm going to show off the bingo card that we have this week. We do have some bingo slots returning. Here's the bingo. This is this week's spectating bingo card. I, it's going to be an interesting one. First of all, we do have a spray in spawn now. We have to check for any sprays in spawn. Let's let everybody get out of spawn very quickly. Okay, no sprays in this spawn. Yep. All right, that was easy. <laughs> all right, let's get that checked off real quick. All right. There was a spray in spawn. Spray in one of spawns. There we go. Easy. Off to a great start. I agree. So we're going to be watching the Moira here. Pokey can jump over big beds. No problem. And one thing I noticed already, chat, I don't know if you noticed this. There is uh, seven seconds left on the start of the game here. I want to point that out. Absolute classic. We saw this with the Winston last week. So we're, we're off to just a perfect start. We're off to a perfect start here. Five, four, three, two, one. Attackers incoming. Defend objective A. Okay, so the Ash is finally making their way here. They've decided it's time to go play. All right, let's look at the team comp from the get-go here. All right, we got Widow, Ash, Moira, Diva, Mercy versus Smile. Tracer, Sojourn, Kiriko, Moira, Junker Queen. Is this a team comp? Yes, it is. I don't even know what to expect this game, but based off of the position and we're already seeing, I can tell this is going to be a swell treat. Now we go back to something I've talked about before. Minimum. Already I'm pausing, right? Every, it's always so interesting because in a lot of well, the bronze VODs we've done, and actually pretty much all of them, where, where teams hold is so much different than where you see teams hold in like various ranks. Diva is holding at the bus in their spawn. I, I, to give you an idea, in a lot of like, for example, like top 500 games in King's Row, ideally or generally you'll hold here. Then if you want to get close, you'll like use cooldowns to get to right here to deny them that space. But you'll see a lot of people like will hold here because you have cover over here. So what you can do is you hold here, you spam. The attacking team has cover here. Defensive team has cover here. And you can kind of use cover to be able to like make plays. Then you can set up off angles up here. So it's always so interesting to me when I see where like teams hold in some ranks, which is really, really interesting to see. So, all right, let's see how this bingo goes. Okay, so I want to talk about this for a second. Chat, what is the problem that we're seeing here already? Okay, I just want to, listen. The Moira going back to heal the, the Widow? Okay, that's fine, right? Ideally in this situation, because of like the output of heals you have in general, Moira would be better off being able to help heal the D.Va while Mercy can kind of go back and forth between the D.Va and the Widow, right? So Widow can get healed 
because Widow's playing high ground. And then, but Mercy's playing over here. So Mercy can't even escape right now if, if Mercy wanted to. So Mercy's just pocketing the tank the whole time in the spawn. The Widow needed heals, which I don't know if the Widow called for it or if like the Widow was spamming I need healing. But the Moira recognized this. Now the Moira is now fading backwards to go heal a Widow up here, but they can't heal the Widow because of the angle. Look at, there we go, they got him. Nice job. You know what? I like that. What did I just miss? What happened here? Be nourished. Wait a second, I need to see what... So the Mercy flew in because the Giant Queen flanked the bus. Oh my. So now we're back to, the Moira has to heal the Diva, but it's gonna be really hard to keep the heals up. The Diva's not eating the Moira orb. They're out of heals, which, keep in mind, DPS, um, when you have the, the purple orb now, the damage orb, it actually can give you a uh, charge towards your heals. Moira goes into the, t oh, it, oh, we are in a team fight right here. This is, I, We are off to a, a start right now. All right, here we go. Time for the reckoning. Stop the payload. Did the Junker Queen just solo alt a diva? All right, I can already say right now, I'm going with questionable ult on this one. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna check off the box of questionable ultimate and watch the team uses their ultimate in a questionable way in comparison to using ult in the correct way. I'm gonna go with that right away. I'm gonna be honest with you, that Junker Queen immediately didn't even like, that Junker Queen just saw a D.Va and ulted. There was no like, oh, there's a whole team there. They saw the D.Va. That Junker Queen was ulted no matter what. She was ulted no matter what was gonna happen. That ult was happening. Oh, that we're checking that box off right away. Is that going to be the first time we can check that box off? Yes. Will we see it about ten more times? Absolutely. Diva kind of didn't go in one v five though. Diva did have teammates around him, um, and the Moria apparently died trying to heal the Diva. Yeah, I think the Diva like had the mercy near them. I mean, we can check that. You know what? Let, let's reevaluate that because that could be a chance of one v five going in. Let me see. I'll, I'll let you know right now. Why not? Okay, ready? Stop the pain. All right, chat, you were correct. All right, going in 1v5. All right, you were correct. Someone on the team runs in 1v5. Correct. Nope, you got you got that one. Oh, this is this is this is good. Time for the reckoning. All right. So Diva's gonna, Diva's gonna, Moira's coming to heal the Diva. Diva flies away, and then Sojourn randomly one-shots the Moira. And then chat, remember how I told you there was gonna be a surprise this game? Remember how I told you there was gonna be a surprise? Well, guess what? I'm pretty sure that Mercy just saw what happened there and just left. Okay? I want to point out right now, Chad, this is a 24-minute VOD. This game, the rest of the way is a 4v5. So now the Moira is now solo healing. The Moira is the solo healer here. Solo support. Okay? Against what the other team is running. I don't... I. For the parched. Okay, so that's going on the bingo card. All right, so that is uh, ability randomly used because I don't, unless I'm missing something here, and there's like a set Moira orb that you can heal with, right? That's gonna go somewhere to heal somebody. I don't know where this is going. I'm actually gonna look where this goes. That is okay. That's like pinball. Where would it go? It's gone. It just disappeared. Okay. All right, back to the Moira. They already lost an Ash. Take off the bingo card here. Ooh, huge Diva ult though. Let's go. That would have been the Diva pack. 
Oh, more is going in. Here's the ult. Oh. You know, you know what that reminds me of? All right, this is a completely different, this is a completely different scenario here. So I like you going in being aggressive there. You know what this moment reminds me of? And anybody who plays Ramatra knows this moment, okay? So this is called, you went in, you knew what you wanted to do. You wanted to keep your, you wanted to go in, be aggressive, get a limb, you had a good ultimate, right? That, I get that play, right? Then your diva dies. Then you just get lost and you're, you're like, okay, what do I do now? Anybody here, anybody here who plays Ramatra, ever try to put your Ramatra shield down when it's on, when you come out of Nemesis form and it's on cooldown? That's exactly how I look when I have, when I, when I, when I have Ramatra shield and I don't have it ready yet. That, that's me right there. You know what I'm talking about? You, you ever just don't have your Ramatra shield up and you're like spinning in circles, looking at the ground? <laughs> yeah, it happens to me all the time. That exact play. That exact play. Yep. That's what it reminded me of when I don't have a shield as a... Uh, when I don't have a shield. Oh, wait, do we have a Soldier 76? Well, don't mind if I do. Okay. Soldier 76. Let me, let me double check to make sure we don't have any of the question marks yet. Um, no. Not that I've seen yet. Okay. We go again. So we're running back to spawn now. I don't really know what's going on. Wait, is there a Soldier in Ultimate? Yeah, this is... I can already... Yeah, someone left. Just so you know, some, the, the mercy just left, and and it looks like for my like, like usually when somebody lags out, like they'll like run into a wall, or you can kind of tell they lagged out. It literally looked like the mercy saw what happened on losing the first point, hit their start button, and left. That's what it looked like. That's literally what it looked like. There's like you know I'm out of here. I'll see you later. Okay, so something I've noticed is you'll throw your Moira orb at the floor, your healing orb. I, I think like it's okay here to either use the Moira orb next to you to heal yourself or just throw a damage orb in. The way that the damage orb works now is that when your damage orb DPSs people, it actually recharges your heals. Um, so if you use your damage orb on them there and you just kind of go backwards, you'll actually do damage to them with the orb and also build up some of your heals again. So damage orb does do that and it will help you with that. Okay. But yeah, I mean, if you throw your orb at the ground like that, it's not going to get to anybody. That's a better healing orb the way you just did it right there. And yeah, they changed that recently with the damage orb. It just changed it recently in like one of the recent patches. Yep. Which was a good change. Like, like so far, I, okay, I, I, I just, here's, I just want to pause for one more second here, okay? Chat, how does, it, how does this become a 24 minute game? Th this is, I, like so far what I'm watching, I'm like, oh, well this is unlucky, somebody left. I want to see how this becomes a 24 minute game. You're just running away. You're like, I ain't doing this. How many does that get? Nobody. More, more got it. Oh, that was. <laughs> Did you see what happened right there? Did you see what happened, chat? Oh, watch this. Watch this. Oh, this is amazing. What's that? Oh, uh, that saying? It was at this moment. Watch, watch. It was at this moment. I'll pause it. It was at this moment that he knew. He f***ed up. Oh, that's amazing. You don't see that too often. You don't see a soldier dive into a diva. <laughs> Alright, back to the Moira. Close to health again. We got a Mora 1v1 here. Yeah, you, this is what we love to see. Good healing orb. That one works. See, 
It seems like what you want to do a lot of time is bounce your mortar orb. In like, a, in like a small room like this, that's good, right? Because the mortar orb's going to go up and down on the wall for the most part, right? But when you're in the middle of the open, it just you, when you bounce it off the floor, it just goes straight up to the sky. Or it just bounces off a bunch of walls up, right? So. All right, I don't know how. Oh, soldier! Huge play by the soldier. I don't even. I don't know what's happening yet. That's like, it's gonna be a more elf here. So how how big is this more elf gonna be? Right, healing up the diva, solo healing too. So this is tough. Wait for it. I don't know where that tire, tire got somebody. I don't even want to know what happened there. There's actually only two and a half minutes left on the clock. Ooh, Diva got out. Nice play. We're keeping the heals up. Using. I think the more impressive part here is Mora use ultimate to heal the Diva. That's the impressive part. Oh, huge pick on the Moira. That's what I'm talking about. Damage orb. There you go. And if you look at the heal in there, like you're, you're because you're hitting them with the damage orb, it's going up there. There we go. That diva just goes in. They do not care. Diva's just in. I, what is? Good job fading out of that. You can fade out of it. Diva's gonna get D-Max. Diva can't do anything about that. Moira is now the tank. Moira has become the tank. Up. Okay, did it? Was it me or did this sound like that Sojourn just shot the ultimate on cooldown? Thanks for the help. Okay, so with with Sojourn out. Then there's a certain percentage that you can go to, but I would recommend not spamming the Sojourn out. It just sounded like that. From the other point of view, it just sounded like the Sojourn shot all their bullets at once. If you, if you let it get to, like, I forgot what the exact number is. I think damage boosted at, like, 85 or something like that. But, like, obviously, letting it, like, max out, you're still going to be able to get really quick shots off. But if you just spam it, the ultimate will lose value. So for anybody playing Sojourn and, and learning Sojourn, you got to give it a little bit of time for it to build up. If you spam it like that, it's probably not going to be as effective. Uh oh, that's a Moira ult. I don't know how what's gonna happen. You're out of healing stuff. Uh -oh. <laughs> Huge tire. Let's go. I don't even know we're out in the bingo card right now. This I, I just want to I want to see what happens. It's a long team fight. Listen, I, with all these, we I think every team fight's been a long team fight. If that's on the bingo card, we can check that off at any point, and that'll, that'll just be the whole game. Ooh, an Arissa now. We have an Arissa swap. Healing orb, good healing orb. See, that got a lot more value than some of the healing orbs have got. All right, it's all time. It's all time. This is gonna be a huge ult. I'm ready. I'm ready! Here it comes! I don't know what's gonna happen! Here we go! More Arissa's getting healed! Ah, oh, here we go! Here we go! Uh, is, is this kind of an ult combo? The Moira ult? You know what? What is happening? Do they hold here? There's no way. Where does the other team cap? You know, this is where, like, it's unlucky that it's a 4v5 because I feel like that was purely you just didn't have enough people on your team. That's what it feels like. Oh, wait, one second. Where's the Junkrat going? Okay, the Junkrat's just staying over here for now. 
Soldiers, this is where you would want to wait to go in. Okay. Now the Diva's gonna go in. Diva can build health here and actually win this team fight. Okay, now I'm curious. Oh, you're going in. Oh, Diva's D Max. Oh, healing the team. Oh. Oh, using your fate to go into the back line. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't know. Oh, what the? They're not even looking at you. Now they are. Use fate. Yeah, there you go. If you right click, it will heal. Okay. There's one little thing there. I know you're waiting for your healing orb, but keep in mind that when you use your damage as Moira, it has a little bit of lifesteal, right? So you're gonna heal a little bit. So if you right click them, while you're waiting for the orb there, you're gonna be able to heal up just a little bit. That might give you enough time to get that orb off. Okay, so just to show you, this is exactly what I was talking about when I play Ramatra. At this point, you're looking at the floor just so you can use your Moira orb. You're waiting for your Moira orb time, and that's all you're waiting for right now. That's what I do with Ramatra with a shield. Oh, I can tell what's happening there, but remember, if you right click, we'll do a little bit there. So, no! But honestly, for that being a 4v5, pretty much since second point, that was a good hold. That was a good hold. In my opinion. Let me see if we have anything here from the bingo card. Yes, we have one. And when, when, I, when I do this one here, chat, you're going to be like, is that really what it is? And I'm going to go with yes on this one, and I'll explain why after. So I, we have one of the question marks. All right. We have one of the question marks. Long team fight at every point of the whole game. Did you get the health pack earlier? All right, team will get health pack. The Cuber, well, you'll have to look at that one. I imagine that did happen. Diva, Diva needs to get health packs, by the way. Just to point out, in this bingo card here specifically, Diva needs to get health packs at some point because, like, more just you cannot rely on the solo heal, so Diva needs to get health packs. And we can also go with teammate constantly out of LOS to support. Um, that is true. That's like when Diva was flying into random rooms. So, that's not a bad one there. Voice line, I, I. Has there been a lot of I need healing? Does Diva keep spamming I need healing? I just haven't recognized that because I'm so focused on the game here. Yes? All right, Cuber, you know what to do with that one too. Voice line used a lot. That counts. Holy crap. I... All right, let's keep going here. Ready for battle, my you said you feel like Cuber, you know what to do is this yes, code this or we'll fix place. it in post. Yeah, exactly. Five, Defend objective A. Check your corners. One. Attackers incoming. Defend objective A. So the May saw the Junker Queen and was just like, this is an opportunity for me to save my teammate from I, I nothing would really happen to the diva there. So like the May's idea was I'm gonna wall off the Junker Queen. But that was like the reaction. Junker Queen, I'm May Wallen. That was like the reaction. I just noticed that. I'm like, huh? Alright, here we go. Diva's already just going in. No, Diva's not going in. Oh, boy, watch out! Soldier! There's a soldier behind you! Get that soldier. You can even up the numbers here. Get that soldier. I'm gonna watch the Moira's reaction here. Get that soldier. Who's now... Did that soldier just run circles around the map behind him? I... That soldier literally ran circles behind him. What in the absolute... What is... What happened to the soldier? <laughs> hey, it happens. It happens, okay? It happens. Good damage orb there, I like that. You see, you're still building up some of your healing with that. Yeah, Diva's out of LOS, by the way. If we need any moment to see where Diva just gets out of LOS, Cuber, right there. Diva just flies in. But no one's healing. Okay, no one is healing the Jugger Queen right now. But there's an opportunity to get Jugger Queen. Okay, now, now Kiriko is the Kiriko went in. Oh, huge play! Come on, you can do this! This has been 4v5 since two minutes in! Good damage orb again. I like that damage orb usage because like right now, 
being a little bit more aggressive with those damage orbs can be helpful. Tracer's just standing there, looking. That's, that's... I, they're more trying to heal on you. Huge pick by the May. Random wall just to have the wall there. Cleanse has been used. Soldier jumped into the back line of the team. I don't know what's happening, but this is going great. There we go. There we go. All right, it's been, it's been, two, it's been 4v5 since two minutes in. This has been such a close game already. There we go. Wait, who's running in? Okay. Either two things are going to happen right here. Jugger Queen is either going to run into the team still after this May wall or run back out. Now, if this happens, say you're like, you just like, you think you can make a play and go to point. I will say this right here. The moment this May wall happens, I wouldn't even recommend going here to begin with. If it does, command and shout out and run this way. Go back to your team. All right. That would be the play you would want to do if you're stuck in this situation. Let's see what happens. You know what? There was two plays I thought were gonna happen. That was the play I didn't predict. There was apparently a third play. It was to go all the way up the stairs and flank them. All right, I, I, I thought there was two plays that were happening. They were either going in right there through the doorway. No, that, that Jerker Queen was like, you know what, there's a wall here. I'm going high ground, I'm flanking with the elf. Everybody use their ultimate, you know what? You're right, that counts, that is good enough. Let's put that one on the card. Everybody use their ultimate, classic. I didn't even recognize it at first, but it's the classic thing we've seen in bronze games, right? Somebody else, everybody else has used their button. The moment Jerker Queen ulted, we saw, we saw Moira ult, we saw it. We saw May ult, we saw Soldier ult, we saw another Moira ult. We saw it. It just happens. Everybody hit their buttons if they have. Friendly equipment? Where was that one at? Where, where was this one? Oh, Soldier shot the May wall. You're right. Good call. You're right. That does count. I will say that counts as, we'll say that counts as friendly equipment, okay? I think that one will count. Maywall, obviously we think of like Sim turrets and Torb turrets, but I think Maywall does count too. If you're shooting at your own Maywall, that does count. This has been quite the bingo card so far. Let me double check to make sure we haven't had anything else. Actually, while we're here, chat, what do you think the question mark was that I checked off? Now, my hint to this, this here's my hint. You might, you might go, wait, what do you mean? This was an unconventional play, but it works the same way. That's the best way I can, I, I can put. I, that's the best hint I can give you without giving it away. Okay. Second one. Yep, there we go. Somebody got in the chat. Alt combo. Now, let me tell you this, right? So what the alt combo was, Moira pocketed Soldier 76 during Soldier 76 Ultimate. Now, was that an alt combo like Nano Blade? Nope. Is that like a Grav Dragon? Nope. But is it an alt combo that works? Yes, we got to see the the classic Soldier 76 pocketed by Moira Ultimate. What an absolute classic. That's definitely one of the that's definitely one of the combos that exists. <laughs> Call it Co-Visor. Yeah, Co-Visor. There you go. Visor lessons. What a game we got here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Nice play so far. Everybody stacking on the cart. Mercy's just kind of running around the map. Nothing's happening. Someone's running back from spawn. You know, I just want to talk about the diva need and healing here. At this point, I, I think the Moyer is absolutely trying their best to keep that diva alive. The thing is, though, is that it's it, the mercy that was on the team left immediately. And then the diva will say, I need healing while flying away into the enemy team. Like, there is at no point 
where the Moira will really be able to help the Diva here. And the thing is, is the Diva's going for the Sojourn all the way here. <laughs> Which is why we talked about the health packs. It's like, in this, at this situation, health packs are very important. Yeah, I saw that happen. I, the moment I saw Moira throwing that orb, I knew that was going off the sign here. I knew that was going off the sign. <laughs> this, this, has been, this has been an impressive game so far. Just wanted some fish and chips. Ooh, nice play. Oh, not unlucky. How did I know that was gonna happen? I tried to go to the soldier as soon as I could. I knew this was gonna happen, by the way. I knew that was gonna happen. The May, the May walls off their soldier 76. The soldier has 10 HP and else. I'm with you. Alt gets countered? Yeah, you know what, that counts. That, you know what? You're right. Do we, do we have that? The ultimate definitely gets countered there. 100%. Now we just need, chat, we need an emote after a huge player or a mirror matchup. Mirror matchup probably won't happen. Woo, this has been a treat. Okay, here we go. Waiting for each other as a team. This is important in a 4v5. It's also important in a 5v5, but we don't see it as often. Apparently May was just taking their time coming back from spawn. All right, good job. Look, chat, are you seeing this? That was a smart play. Rather than going in one by one, everybody on the team waited for their teammate to go in as a team. Look at them. Tell me this team isn't ready to go win a team fight. They are ready to win a team fight. Let's look at this team. Are they ready to win a team fight? We have a damage boosted Arissa, a soldier who's just gonna make sure the cart is still there, a tracer who is right there, and a Moira who I actually think is going nowhere near the team. We know what team's winning this team fight. My ultimate is charging. Here we go. My ultimate yes. is charging. <laughs> There's no way Mercy reses that. Did Mercy just res that? Wait a second. Wait a second. How? Did Mercy just res right in front of the team? I don't. And May will. Hold on. Here we go. Yeah, I told you. Look at this. They all stack as a team. Ooh, nice Moira ult, actually. This actually, I think, is going to win the team fight for you. That was a good ult. It was a good amount of damage and a good amount of healing to help your team there. That was a good ult. The cart is should definitely be pushed at this point, I would say. Here we go. That might have that might make it tougher to get the point, but I think you're fine. Those are two damage orbs that were a part of the game. Let's go. Good job getting the point. Good job getting the point. Woo, let's go! Let's go! Nice Steve ult! Nice! Also, I have to do this very quickly too, because I do have one of these here, chat. I have to check this off. Let me... Right here, I'm checking this one off. We'll go back to it in a minute or two. Just keep in mind, it just recently happened, okay? Receive my aid. Good healing orb. Yep. Diva needs healing, chat. Surprisingly, I wish... No one's pushing the cart. Cart. Okay, there we go. Thank you. You gotta maximize your cart push here. If you don't, then, like, it's gonna be really hard for you to win. Diva's gonna need healing. We, we saw that coming. Yep, Diva, yep. I just wanna point out again. There, it is a 4v5 with one support. And finally, chat. Do you see what I see here? Look at that May wall! Now the question is, will this Mercy try to res that Arissa? That is the question here. I think Mercy might try to res that. I think Mercy's going for this res. Let's see. This nope, we were wrong. No, <laughs> there's no way, there is no way. Okay, seriously. Okay. There Mercy went right in. Mercy said, you know what? It was a debate. It was a debate. Oh no. Oh no. And Mercy actually gets the res off. Arissa's surprised. I 
can't believe it worked. Soldier's ulted. Could this be the soldier ult that wins them the round? No, but they're still up. Oh, wait. Oh, huge play. If you get this soldier, this could be huge. This could be huge. I, well, now it's... Uh, we're going to go with resetting for the team. Looks like May has now done one of their random May walls. What do you think the question mark was? We'll figure this one out now. This one is a good one. That's all I'll say. The question mark that we finished. Keep in mind, this has happened twice. That's my second hint. My second hint is this has happened twice. Here we go. Chat got it. Mercy revives in front of the other team. That was what it was. That was uh, on the YouTube comments. That was, I think, like, people really wanted to see that one again because it happens a lot. So we did put that on the card, but it happened to be the question mark one because I think that's a good one. So that was the second one that we had there. All right? Oh, there it is! All right, did you see what I just saw from that point of view, by the way? I have to watch this because that was... That Tracer's reaction to that Diva Bomb was amazing. I, I Just watch this. only 20 seconds left. Wait a second. There's, there's no time. There's the main clutch this. Oh, here it is. There's a random main wall. Wait. Wait. Come on. Do they finish this with time? There's no way they have a better time. Oh, they finished. With Let's go. They finished with one second above. Let's go. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Come on. Come on. All right, here we go. Can they hold? Are you seeing what I'm seeing, chat? Are you seeing what I'm seeing? The sojourn hasn't picked a hero yet. Nice shot. Okay, that okay. They picked the hero. They picked the hero. They're holding close again. Diva's going up high ground. There's the main wall. That's been a main wall. Come on. Wait, point. Don't don't give him a tick. No, don't give him a tick. Oh, there's a that's the main wall. Come on. You can do this. Remember, Diva can eat the healing orb. Oh, nice play! Come on! Ah! You can right-click for heals! Right-click for heals! You can self-heal! Oh, oh, no! They're still up! This is... No, so it! So up! Speed! Right-click for heals! Oh, my! There's no way! There's a... That's a May wall! Come on! Wait a second! They're all so low! You heal! You get your ult! Get your ult! Get your ult! Come on! Use it! Use the ult! Okay, well... <laughs> Let's go! They, they didn't get all the point! Wait a second! Wait a second! The diva ult getting pulse one! Oh, let's go! <laughs> I 
I didn't know what to expect! And chat, that to me counts as teammates don't get on the point when the team could have. Oh my! Can they win and get this 4v5 since two minutes in? And keep in mind, that Moira had no HP that whole time. Wait, really? I mean, Let's go. No. Come on. Come on. Here's that. <laughs> I don't know what it is with that Maywall. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know what it is with that Maywall right there. Why that's that, that May just loves wall on that wall. They see somebody like Maywall. That's a Maywall. We're, I'm just Maywall on that. Good luck. Bastion. There is a Bastion swap. There has been a Bastion swap. Diva's going to need healing. I'm sure we'll know soon. Yep. <laughs> As they're running at the team. Come on. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You can do this. You can do this. That there, there it is. That actually isn't a bad mate wall. Oh, no. I was on this another time. Is this going to be a draw? I don't think there's going to be any time. Ten seconds. No one can touch! It's a draw! You know what, though? What I have to say to that? This was a 2v5. Sorry, a 4v5. Two minutes in. A 4v5. Two minutes in. And that ends in a draw? Nobody left? No one on the team said, you know what? Ah, they didn't come back. I'm gonna, everybody stayed in. Everybody stayed in. I cannot believe that. That was, I, I just, what a game. Let's take a quick look at the bingo card, see if we missed anything. There wasn't an emote after a huge play. There wasn't a jump shadow. There was no Rhine. There wasn't a Widow duel. There was a Widow, but not a duel. There wasn't environmental limb. There wasn't a nano support because there was no Ana. There wasn't a Ramatra. There wasn't a mirror matchup. Mirror matchup would be both teams have the same teams, uh, both comp, and there was no Reaper. Okay. What was the question mark? I'll just let everybody know right now. It was a hero. It, it was a hero that is very strong right now in the meta. Um, was not seen, which was Wrecking Ball. Wrecking Ball was the third spot there. All right. We didn't get a bingo, but let me tell you. This was quite the bingo card. There were so many moments. It was the 4v5. I, that was so in, That 4v5 was... I was so into that. To be able to draw that game, that was a great game. Um, oh, I, and, and just to go back on a little bit, um, with your Moira orbs, just remember that like sometimes when you're in the middle of the open and you bounce them off the ground, they're going to go right to the skybox too. Remember that your damage orb also gives you a little bit of charge now on your heal. So when you use that orb, remember that sometimes you can use that. Um... Sometimes you can use that for uh, to get like some of your charge back and also do damage output, especially in those like 4v5s. Um, but yeah, what a game. Sorry, that was amazing. Hope you enjoyed the bingo video. Uh, I, I can't wait to see that one. That's going to be great. That's going to be great. What a treat that was. 